2018 has been a great year for NMIMS. It's a year when we received the accredited, the graded autonomy from the UGC and we were ranked or we were categorized as category one university. This, be, this has really put us in the top 22 universities of India. There are more than about 800 universities in this country. And within that, it's about 22 institutions have been given their category one status. Now this clearly puts us, gives us an opportunity to do something different from what we have been doing. And we can do it at a much faster pace than what we were doing so far. So that's number one. Second, it is from the perspective of the AACSB, particularly for the business school. The AACSB accreditation now has put the business school in league with 800 international business schools or the business schools in the world who, that have an AACSB accreditation. Now, there are more than 16,000 business schools in the world and only 800 with the AACSB accreditation. So NMIMS School of Business Management joins that league of 800. Within India, we are a part of that just about seven business schools that have AACSB accreditation. And some of the better known institutions, widely known, are IIM Calcutta, XLRI, Jamshedpur, and ISV. So we are in that kind of a league that I look at it, which have got the AACSB accreditation. From a student perspective, what would this really mean? Uh, purely from an academic point of view. A, first of all, your degree now becomes globally portable in the sense that now you can easily walk into any of the AS, any of the best known business school in the anywhere in the world that we are an internationally accredited business school with and, and we have an ACSB accreditation your job opportunities, your placement opportunities also expand internationally. We see NMIMS entry in global ranking through the business school. So the next one year or two, we will see NMIMS business school getting globally ranked either by Financial Times or, and it could be both, Financial Times and QS Business School, Global Business School rankings. We are pretty hopeful that once we enter these global rankings, the Business School ranking in the world should be in the top 100 or top 150 business schools in the world and gradually this kind of a ranking should improve over a period of time said that by 2030 NMIMS business school must be counted among the top 25 business schools of the world. In the NIRF I'm looking at the business school coming in the top 10 and in the media ranking I'm visualizing our rank to be among the top five. My expectation from the business school would be that uh, our uh, partnership with the, with the industry should result in some industry-driven courses, more number of industry-driven courses than what we are today offering. Certainly coordinated by our internal faculty, but I do want today the industry to come forward and create some of the courses. Let me give you an example. Artificial intelligence today is a much talked about kind of a technology. It's a fact that today uh, artificial intelligence is going to be influencing uh, your choices. The marketeer or the firm would be able to influence your choices 
on the basis of a whole lot of our data that you are leaving behind in the organization through the choices that you have already made at a given point of time. So if we are able to, to bring some faculty from say the banking industry or from the airline industry or from the e-commerce industries, firms, whether this is Amazon, for example, or it could be the Flipkart, or it could even be Google, for example, who would talk essentially about the Amazon, or the, the artificial intelligence, for example. It is not just merely from a technology perspective, but it would be more from a business perspective, more from a managerial perspective. AI as it influences, let's say, the product design, AI as it influences the pricing decisions, AI as it affects, let's say, your ability to deliver to the customer, your customer services, etc., and any kind of a new product designs, etc. So there could be a whole range of issues that are there today related with that you can better understand in the market with AI. My message to all MBA aspirants who are wanting to join NMIMS is to prepare well for NMAT by GMAC. We need to keep in mind that as the numbers go up of applicants, which it has continued to go up every time, every year on year, it is not just the number which is going up. Equally important is the fact that every year we are getting better, better quality of students coming in. And with better prepared students and better quality students coming up every year, the cutoffs have increased. Last year, our cutoff did increase. I think it was about 210 or something like that. Pretty high up, and so almost corresponding to almost about 89 or 90 percentile or 95 percentile of GMAC itself. Which means that if this cutoff is going to be there this year, only those who are serious and only those who have prepared well, they're going to be selected in NMIMS. So my message is prepare well, read, more about whatever is happening around. Be confident about yourself and uh, all the very best.